this video, we do four tests. First test, we pull the camper, which is 5,700 pounds. We pull that um, going 65 miles an hour down the highway until we need to charge. And then we do test two, and that's in beast mode. Test two is in comfort mode. We do 65 miles an hour down the highway, pulling the 5,700 pound trailer. Uh, test three, we do 55 miles down the highway, pulling the trailer. Not as far. I That one's just extra. I think we only went 15 or 17 miles for that data. Um, and then the last, the last test is a range test just with the Cybertruck, no camper, going 65 miles an hour in beast mode to see what the watt hours per mile is. So on the third test, we took the truck and the trailer down to a scale and we got the actual weights. And you can see those um, got 5,700 on the trailer itself and 6920 for the truck. And a couple other things just to mention is this is just my real world experience with towing a camper, you know, it's not super scientific. It's just what I experienced. Our weather has been from, I think we started off about 44 degrees in the morning when we started the test and we ended up at like right below 60 degrees when we finished. So it's not super cold. It's pretty realistic. We air, aired up all the Cyber Beast tires per the manual to 65 PSI. We are on all-terrain tires. Uh, tunnel cover is down throughout the whole video. And I do run the AC at 69 degrees inside the cabin, both in front and in the rear, because if I'm if I'm towing a camper, I probably have family with me. So um, just trying to make it as realistic and applicable to the everyday person trying to pull a camper. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this video. And one last thing. Really nice having this rear camera. It's very high quality. You're able to see a lot of detail. Digital. So we are leaving there at a full charge. We have our tow on. The bed does self-level. You'll see that in the video. And we are good to go now.
So first thing off the bat, this thing has power and there is no limit of power. So I just wanted to show that. But just realize I'm gonna throw AC on. I'm gonna throw the AC on in the back and in the front. We're gonna keep it on low. It is 45 degrees out now, and we're running at 69 for the Fahrenheit in the cabin. Kind of give it a realistic. I didn't want to keep it off. There's no point in keeping it off because if you're doing a haul, you probably got family members and stuff. So make it semi-realistic. With the current you'll see the how many miles we're seven miles in right now so it's not a big difference so seven miles with the amount of time and then the watt hours for at 65 miles an hour it is still pretty high i was expecting it to be a little bit lower we're at 1500 watt hours a mile on beast so yesterday when i was pulling this i was going a little slower i think probably like 55 maybe not on beast in chill mode and that gave me i mean we're running right around 900 watt hours a mile so maybe i need to do this test in chill also just to see which one is more efficient chill mode or beast mode one thing that's really nice i'm not braking right now we're approaching the red light even with the trailer the truck is doing a really good job and it's green. I, I would have had to break a little bit. Oh, we have a green light. Try to ease into this ramp speed. trailer brakes off of the electric motor braking or like to slow down I bet it does, I didn't because I don't feel pushing yeah because I'm not pressing the brake yeah it's definitely braking with the camper because well the truck's not braking I don't know if the camper's braking the truck's not braking it's using electric motors yeah which saves a ton on brakes oh yeah
follow through on it. Like this view here is really nice. Oh yeah. Can you get that you know if you're gonna down. flip a curb or a pole or a sign or whatever might be there, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll throw in uh in this trip we're gonna go supercharger. It says we'll get there at seven percent. That's still, I mean, that's a lot of good metrics. Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't want to get stuck. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. So, 25, 25 miles up to the seven percent. Yeah, good <laughs> Extended battery is probably like you're probably gonna want the extended battery in this. If you don't normally use the bed for bed things, other than just loading some stuff, because it does take up like a third quarter of the third quarter. Yeah. It does take up like a third of the bed with the extended battery. I would say probably get it, get it if you're if you're a camper. If Tesla says uh, I think Tesla advertised it for sixteen thousand dollars. One percent. Well, we went seven miles, not seven percent. Yeah, so I mean, like, if you were taking a camper into the mountains, yeah. like going up the mountain would suck because of the range. The yeah. pole itself, no issue. It would do fine. And then going down the hill would do fine because you're not using your brakes. Yeah. The other cool thing is like as you're doing that regen braking with the motors, you're actually charging the battery back up. Now coming, so like coming down the mountain would be amazing. Like the range coming down a mountain, it would be awesome. But taking a camper up the mountain with your range is going to kill us so bad. The, the elevation, the grade itself, like... Yeah, I would say that's one annoying thing about pulling is a lot of times you have to drop whatever you're pulling be able to charge and like constantly over and over and over at every charging stuff it's just it's super annoying to do oh, especially with the range is like pretty much what well, we getting we're at 86 miles yeah. so i mean every 90 miles you're having to drop the trailer and then re hook it up drop the trailer i mean it's going to be pretty annoying doing a long trip oh, yeah. it's not like when i was trying to put antifreeze every 30 miles it had oh, so and much time Cadillac. And Cadillac. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every 30 miles, I stop. <laughs> yeah, we're at. We're about to pull in here. And this is a nice big bump. See, like, whenever this isn't full, it's nice. It's easy to drop the trailer, but now, like, the parking lot's pretty full. So to be able to come in here, I'll have to block this road. I'll go over there, drop the trailer over there, and then come over here. There we go. What's up? Yeah. That's 
Up on where those pipes are. Be good, huh? All right. So we got uh, we're at the charger. We haven't plugged in yet. We gotta drop the trailer. So we dropped the trailer. We're at four percent, which is about eleven miles. End result for test one pulled 5,700 pounds over 92 miles at 65 miles per hour, consuming 110 watt hours at a rate of 1,205 watt hours per mile, which equates to consuming 3.25 miles for every mile we traveled. So for the easy math, we had 11 miles remaining in the batteries if you take that divided by three that's 3.6 roughly take that added on to what we actually traveled which was 92 miles so now we are at 95 miles 299 miles starting off divide that by 95 and we get 3.15 miles consumed for every mile we traveled so a little over a third of our battery range go next test is going to be we're going to see if there's a difference in chill mode we're not going to do a whole lot i think it's uh 47 miles just under 50 miles i believe we're going to do a pull in chill mode going 65 um and we'll see what happens there i wonder if chill uh conserves a little bit more energy than beast mode uh, and It'll be interesting to find out. Right now we're at 65% battery, which puts us at like 196 miles. Uh, we're gonna go hook back up. So keep the AC and stuff on in the truck. And then after this, we'll go get some weights and then we'll do, I'll do a dry test with uh, no trailer and see what the efficiency is on the Tesla. So we got, I'm gonna have to reset this trip so before I start moving, trip A, we went 92 miles at 1,205 watt hours a mile. Um, we ended up consuming 110 kilowatt hours. So I'll reset that. Once we get hooked up, I'll reset that as we get out back onto the road. All right, so we're going to go 25 miles down, 25 miles back. That'll put us at 50 miles roughly. 65%, 195 on our battery charge. Um, we are in trailer mode. Nothing's changed there. We did go to comfort instead of beast mode. So <clears throat> the power distribution to the motors is much less in comfort mode. And there's a huge difference from comfort to, the, to beast whenever you're accelerating. So we're gonna see if that changes our overall range. It's cool. There's so many cameras everywhere. People are just taking pictures. <laughs> In the drive through holding up the drive through line, just taking pictures. Half the people popular don't even know what this is. I know, it's wild. Like, I wish I had audio through Century Mode. The amount of conversations I've had with people, they're like, what is that? I'm like, it's a Tesla Cybertruck. How do you not know? It's been known for four years. You wanna know how? Tesla doesn't market. <laughs> That's why no one knows. We need to put like, aliens are coming. <laughs> <laughs> aliens are here. Dude, Florida, Florida people would freak out. <laughs> Go back to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Florida people would freak out. Oh, that's what I love. My uh, camera. It's all messed Oops.
really fast. I was like, oh wait, that's a cyber truck. <laughs> and I was gonna get in front of it and go slow. I felt like the regen braking wasn't as strong either there. I had pressed the brakes a little bit. This is a, what, 51 now? So 51 at 11.66, that's what we get. So, there we go. Chill mode, 50 miles, consumed 11.66, 51 miles. Not a long trip on this one, 17 miles. We're gonna try to run 50, but we're also trying to get to the, the scale station before they close. So I might end up picking it up. We'll see, we'll see what the time is looking like. Uh, I do wanna to try to get a 50 mile an hour pull on this trailer. I think the weight's a little more important than the 50 mile an hour pull. We're still in chill mo mode. There's no reason getting beast right now. What's that? Actually, the <laughs> we actually hooked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Might have missed something. I don't know.
Who be is doing like stop and goes now. But 15, 15 miles at uh, trip A, so 15 miles, 935 watt hours a mile. Not bad. If you can do 55. You know, that's what I was hoping for, 65. What was the average of just driving? I didn't have any, I haven't been able to get one. My watt hours, I think, was like 580 on the average before we started doing the trailer test. Well, let's climb the rock hills <laughs> in the cyber truck. You do, you just sink. Yeah. Go up that way. Go right up to the scale. Yeah. I'm a professional scale for That's what we have to do with all the corn. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna get a range test with just the truck going 65. But we got the weight 57 on the trailer. It came in less than what we thought, what the sticker says. So 5,700 on the trailer and the Tesla Cybertruck came in at 69.20 for the weight.
so it's, it's a tailwind right now for us then but yeah so that's what we're con going to conclude here is 65 miles an hour no pulling of anything just weight of the truck itself um right at right around 400 watt hours a mile so that's a nice base to base off of everything else and then 3x that if you're pulling a trailer around 5700 pounds um so yeah you get one third of your mileage kind of sucks here are the end results all recapped so test one we were in beast mode pulling the camper at 5700 pounds doing 65 miles an hour on the highway uh, we only got 92 miles but we also had 11 miles in the left in the battery if you do the math and take three uh, a third of that, <clears throat> that ends up leaving us on a full charge getting 95 miles uh, towing that trailer do some more math i did the math earlier so you do some more math and then you get essentially for every mile you drive you consume 3.15 miles uh, on that test and then test two we did comfort with the trailer at 65 the watt watt hours a mile didn't change much between beast and that so if we look back at the beast going 65 we were consuming 1205 watt hours every mile on our comfort trailer our comfort mode with the trailer <clears throat> we were getting 1166 so not a big difference between the different modes whether it's beast or comfort um, on highway at least now if you're doing it in the city the stop and go it might make a bigger difference because of that power consumption uh, getting up and going and then our third test we did comfort trailer at 55 miles an hour only went 15 miles with this one because it really wasn't a test i just grabbed the data because i was already driving that way but we consumed at that we consumed 935 watt hours for every mile and then our last thing that we did was our beast just driving 65 miles an hour on the highway we went 40 miles we consumed 386 watt hours every mile so cool test it's nice to know that um if you're driving a trailer we all knew that it's gonna reduce the range a lot i was expecting more around half we ended up getting a third of our range jerry rig everything also did a test he released a video like yesterday uh, he was towing eleven thousand pounds in the cold i believe he had arrow cats i can't remember arrow cats don't really matter um yeah so he was pulling eleven thousand pounds he was consuming 1193 watt hours a mile now his rig he had a bigger trailer and he had a a custom hummer on it and that was lower to the ground and not mu as much of a wind drag so you take 11,000 pounds low to the ground less wind drag and that's comparable to a 5,700 pound camper that has much more wind drag for that watt hours a mile consumed uh and then voyage atx also did a test and he got so he was pulling his model y on a very a really small car trailer a u-haul trailer he ended up getting let's see he was doing 65 miles an hour also and he got 749 watt hours per mile on his test so what i pretty much sum this up to is if you're going to be doing a lot of pulling especially a campering maybe the range extender battery is going to be more in your favor is it doable to drive every 90 miles stop and charge in most places yes that is doable just you know have your expectations of stopping every 90 miles um and that's really all i'll leave it to is it is it ideal no is it doable yeah sure just not ideal at all but hope you like this video uh, give me a like and a subscribe and i will continue to bring you more cyber beast content